Good afternoon, YouTube. It is your boy Trip Dipper here with you today. Uh, so today's topic is how me and my wife met and how quickly we got married and how long we've been together and how strong we are still going. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pop a song on. I'm gonna pack me a lip and we'll get into the subject of today. So, how's everybody doing today? If you could smash that like button for me, and that subscribe button for me, that'd be great. So my wife and I met actually on a what a dating like not even really a dating website. It's like a hookup website called Meet Me. It used to be uh, myyearbook.com. Anyway, so we started talking on there. She sent me a message and with her phone number, and I called her one day after I got off of work. At the time, I was uh. Chicken butcher. Well, let me back up. Let me back up a second. So this was in April of 2014. So I had just gotten into town Easter Sunday. So back into New Plymouth, Idaho. What had happened was I had gone to Idaho to go get clean and to go get, you know, off the drugs. I am clean now. I've been clean for over 18 months. Woot! Um, but anyway, so my wife and I started talking on the phone for a month straight before we even got a chance to meet each other. One day, my little brother gave me a ride to gas station in Caldwell. So, well, truck stop pilot. I went into the store and bought a can of chew real quick, some coconut and straight. And when she pulled up, I got in the car, immediately started holding her hand. It just felt right that weekend. And then we spent time together, obviously, that weekend, went and did some things. And the next weekend, we, I guess that would have been Memorial Day weekend, the next week. And that's a whole another story, but that whole other story pretty much solidified that I knew she was the woman that I was supposed to marry and that she was supposed to be the woman that she was the woman for me. So, I went back to New Plymouth. She gave me a ride back to New Plymouth. And I got paid that Friday. At the time, I was working for a a lumber company, but through a staffing agency. So I got paid every Friday. So when I got paid, we went to the pawn shop. I know bad juju, but I spent all the money I had um, and got my wife her wedding ring. Asked her to marry me in her bedroom, and she said yes. So that weekend, that, that Monday, I had the day off from work because of previous said situation. Well, look, I, I'll just explain this. Her ex-boyfriend came and knocked the door, kicked the door in, and brought the police with him to come fight me. Claims he was a country boy. Obviously not. You don't. We don't call the cops to get in a fight. So... She was in handcuffs with me, that's how I knew that she was the woman for me, that she was sitting there and she was my little ride or die. So I loved her, 
it, it you know I love her but at that moment I knew that I loved her so 100% like she was solidified there was no turning back so like I said we've been dating only for two weeks we got married at a little courthouse, Caldwell Canyon County Courthouse. Then married for, oh geez, well we got married June 2nd, which is October 5th. So that would be what? 14 months? Yeah, 14 months. At a time flies. So, what did happen after all that? We've had some serious up and down, which every relationship does. And you know, our marriage and, and relationship, it, you know, it, it's work. And you know what? What I had noticed, we uh, staying at my mom because I was working in New Plymouth in the basement. And my mom didn't like my wife at all. Uh, kicked us out. We stayed in a hotel with the last bit of saved money we had. We we played scratch tickets and we went a lot. You know, we we do for, we were doing fairly well on scratch tickets. So we had this little jar that we were saving in a boss glass bottle. One of those. Yeah. I had a couple hundred dollars in there we were saving for, you know, to try and go in a hotel room in a nice hotel, the Anniversary Inn in Boise, so that we could do our honeymoon. That didn't happen. So, we ended up staying in a hotel. Um, moved out there to Boise. Took a couple, took about a week, week and a half. Staying in a hotel two weeks, and finally got into a studio apartment in downtown Boise, which was super small, super teeny, annoying as hell. The neighbors were garbage. The neighborhood was horrible because a lot of bums. They tried to, you know, break into. While well, my wife was driving the car, I tried to break into the window to steal her backpack. Um, at the time, I was, you know, I trained in MMA. One day, I had forgotten my water, and asked my wa my wife to bring me down some water on my bike down to my gym. It was only about a, I'd say, about an eight to ten block ride. They, you know, tried to kick my wife off of my bike or steal my bike from my wife and she fought off three bombs I was pretty impressed about kept my bike from getting stolen woohoo baby tough little country girl that I have so I uh, we were there for about five to six months and one day we were at the zoo with her sister and I we were walking through and I literally right before we got to the giraffe station I I literally I fell to my hands and knees I was in so much pain so I was basically crawling through the rest of the zoo so that we could spend some time with her sister. She was in from Portland spending time with her family, with their family. So after we were done with the zoo, my wife gave me a ride to the ER, the emergency room, which was about four, but you know, it's a, a few blocks away. We get there and they do an ultrasound on on me and tell me I need emergency surgery within the week. So come to find out I had an undescended testicular cancer 
and had to get that removed. That was that was that was really rough. And the wife a few years ago had cervical cancer, had that removed. And um, this year, this this year she had endometriosis, and so we had to get all that removed. She's all better now. She's walking and able to. move around and I was you know she was on bed rest had to help each other in both of our surgeries to go to the bathroom and that was that was really rough we had a lot of help luckily from other people I couldn't I didn't really have any help at the, the time there we don't really have any friends in Boise so there I you know had to I lost my job because I had to take care of her and I was working graveyard at the time I was cooking Taco Bell which you know kind of sucked because I was being groomed to be a manager there but with all that, which made it, you know, fairly difficult. I'm not used to, I mean, I'm a good cook, but my wife, my, my wife can cook. <laughs> and it was just, we had a lot of fast food and a lot of, a lot of takeout delivery because, I, I mean, towards the end of the month and didn't really have any food and I was kind of scared to leave my wife at the house for me to go shopping so that was that was a rough time so thanks for listening to my little love story and rant I am Trip Dipper I'm having a fucking tripper day I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon I'm out